You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. Okay guys, someone shared this recipe with me, so I'm gonna run down the ingredients real quick with you, but I wanna talk about keto pound cake. We've come a long way. There's a lot of great keto recipes out there. This kitchen you're seeing is just temporary. It's the kid's kitchen. Uh, we'll be building our kitchen on the property. So I'll show you that when it's done. I got a few sugar substitutes here. This one is a confectionery substitute, really good. This one is a sugar substitute, really good. Um, the cream cheese, this is instant coffee, right? Yep. It even says on top of the jar, good for tiramisu. So it's gonna be great for what we're doing. Cocoa powder, baking powder, melting chocolate, unsalted butter, this is salt, coconut oil, whipping cream. I think that's it. Let's get started. Yeah. All right, I'm batting a thousand here. Starting with almond flour, which I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, but thank goodness the recipe's right down below. We're gonna add flour. We're gonna add in the cocoa powder. We're gonna add in the instant coffee. baking powder and of course salt baking powder and salt is mainly used for making the bread rice okay I'm mixing it with a fork it tells you to sift it but I don't have a sifter so a fork will be just as good take this mixture set it off to the side all right now you're going to mix the butter and the sugar substitute until creamy Okay, now we're gonna add into this mix, this is the sugar and the butter, or the sugar substitute and the butter. Then we're gonna add the cream cheese in until it's perfect, perfectly incorporated. Let's add that in right now. Okay, now we're gonna incorporate the eggs one at a time as we're mixing. Boop, 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 kinda like that. Wait till the egg is all mixed in Add another egg. Got your bowl of dry ingredients right here where we mixed earlier in the beginning. We're gonna slowly incorporate them. Let me pour a little bit in. Okay. And then when you're done, I'll pour more in. Got some melted chocolate. We're gonna pour into this and incorporate it. Get that all mixed in. Then go ahead and line your bread bowls with parchment paper. Or I should say your bread pan. If you follow this recipe, you're gonna have two bread pans to fill. Okay, so let's, let's we got two of them already prepared with some parchment paper. And then we're gonna apply the batter, and then we'll bring the other one in. Alright, once you got them in the bread pan, you're gonna pop in the oven at 325 from 60 to 70 minutes. Do the toothpick test, and then once we're cooking this, we'll start the ganache. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So first, we're gonna start with butter in the bowl. We're gonna make our chocolate ganache. There we go. Put some heavy whipping cream in here. There we go. We're putting it all in. Get some coconut oil. There we go. And some powdered sugar substitute of your choice. And then we, Tammy's going to put the chocolate in for me. All right, guys, this kind of kind of fell apart when we took it out of the bread pan. I recommend you spraying the parchment paper with nonstick. This is a hot mess. It got worse as we went on trying to keep it together. It fell apart. Luckily, we got a good slice out of it. So I'm going to try it right now. Okay. Have you guys ever had a dessert that 
just went bad. But when you tasted it, it's really good. Yeah. This is it.